back to an episode of Last Day Out of Survival. Today we return. Today we are trying something balls. Hey, you know what we got in our inventory? A hell of a lot of shotgun rain, a little bit of champagne, and of course, the eggnog. I think you guys know that we're planning something big. We're going after the big one using some Christmas spirit because a big thing about the big one is he's fast. All right, he's really annoying to deal with. That's where we got the magical thing known as eggnog to deal with him. Make him slow as hell. After that, we got the magic of champagne to make us do bonus damage with all the shotgun rain that we got. And I love the fact that champagne and shotgun rain rhyme. It just makes me really happy on the inside. But we also got some first aid gets to prepare. We got some presents from Santa Claus. Anything good, Santa? Nope. I got some boots, uh, some iron, a yellow carnival ticket, and berries. This may be the worst Christmas ever. Especially because it's like a week late for Christmas, you know, okay, that kind of happened a week ago yesterday though There was super amazing presents for the New Year's. I thought maybe today might be something good I guess I might have hopped on a little bit too late, but uh, without further ado Let's head on over and begin our shenanigans So this is like all the shotguns I could literally round up It's actually a pretty perfect amount because it leaves us with some water or some room for water food And uh, I'm just hoping that we're gonna be able to pull this off because while the Christmas event is going on this might be your guys' best chance at taking out the big one. Something that will be invaluable down the line. Because he's always going to be a pain in the butt to take down. And uh, down the line, he's going to have something very important for us. He has the Bunker Zulu card. If you guys don't know. Bunker Zulu card, of course, will be able to open Bunker Zulu. And it is by far and away the rarest card in the game at the moment. So if you don't have it, you already have one. But listen, I'm doing this A- Maybe I could sell a second one when trading comes in. You know what I'm saying? Make a nice nifty little buck on that. But uh, also because it's Christmas, man, and I want to see just how effective and how helpful these two power-ups will be. And the awesome thing about these power-ups is I'm pretty sure Kafir has said they want to bring these back in the future. So here's the first thing that we're going to want to do. A, probably want to should have equipped a shotgun rain. We're going to want to drink these two things. This guy is going to come running after us and things are, uh, they might, they might start out a struggle, but hopefully we can survive. We got some band-aids and stuff, so, uh... Hopefully all's well. I, I think he might be getting close, which is kind of spooky. Okay, so let's uh, equip a shotgun. Drink that. Drink that. Hopefully we don't have to pee. All right. We're ready to go. We got 10 minutes of hardcore pooping on the big one. He should be running after us. There he is. So all that we got to do is shoot him enough. And eventually, not only... Look at that. Look at that. Look at him slow down. And look at us sometimes. Not do three damage. Sometimes when we're lucky, we're doing 11. So for 10 minutes... We are gonna have this power up where this guy is gonna be a slow doggy doo doo face and we can utilize our favorite tactic, the turn and burn tactic, a tactic that we have mastered doing hard mode bunker runs. And you guys can see just how awesome this ends up being because when he's so slow, you don't even have to worry about medical supplies really because you can easily outrun him. I definitely recommend bringing swap boots for this type of shenanigans, but you can see, especially because sometimes our shotgun will do that bonus damage all the way up to 11. Sometimes what that leads to is these shotguns are going to be able to do way more damage than they used to do if you were just like, you know, not getting the bonus. We might be able to take this guy out with five full quality shotguns because we did about, what, 200 damage to him? And check this out. You don't need to run out of bounds, which was a big problem with, uh, so that was something you really had to do before because if you didn't, you would die. But... Given the fact that he is a slow poke, uh, you don't really have to worry about that. And if you do run out of bounds, that will cancel the special effects of the things that you utilize. And oh my god, how many 11s? We just got like five 11s in a row. Dude, we're getting hella lucky with shotgun raid. The odor is sickening. The big one is nearby. Good, good work, Detective Sherlock Holmes. You really, really did good there. Speaking of Sherlock Holmes, isn't there like a Sherlock Gnomes movie coming out? I mean, I, I went to go see the movie. Get out of here, you freaking dude with a saw blade, Mace. Why Why are you here where the big one lives? You have no reason to be here. But, oh my god, you just see him, like, stand up on his hind legs. Back to what I was saying. Yeah, isn't there, there's, like, a Sherlock Gnomes game, not game, movie coming out. I don't know. I saw a movie the other day with my sister and my parents. It was pretty pretty funny, not gonna lie. Do you guys want to see the, no, the movie? This, this isn't sponsored. All right, nothing like that. It was just a funny movie. It was Jumanji, and uh, I, I giggled. I definitely giggled. Now, Toxic Spitter, stop chasing me, friend. You're gonna make me smell like Doggy Doo Doo. I don't like Doggy Doo Doo. Doggy Doo Doo sucks. But look at how quickly 
were able to do this because the big thing that made killing the big one take forever before was you had to keep running in and out of the map because that's the only way you could like really switch weapons without having to worry. Get out of here, Thor! What are you doing here? Eat shotgun rain. See, the eggnog or something really makes shotgun rain just as powerful as it should be. The eggnog is what allows shotgun rain to do its true damage. Cause let, let's be honest, shotgun rain should realistically be doing like 200 damage anyway. So I fully support it. Right now we're getting some pretty bad luck. There we go. Finally getting some 11s and he's almost halfway dead with just a couple shotguns. So hopefully this is a good kind of like rough idea of what you guys would have to bring. So I think we should be able to do this with uh, five shotguns or so. Cause uh, maybe six, cause we're about to get through our third one and we have not done enough damage. It depends on how lucky you are too. So I'd say by the looks of it, make sure you're bringing uh, five to six shock, probably six just to play it safe. And remember, you do have a time limit. You want to make sure to do as much damage as you can within 10 minutes. I think we should be able to kill him within, oh God, don't let him get close. We should be able to kill him within 10 minutes, but that is how long the special effects last. And it, it, it pains me to use all of this fresh shotgun rain. You know what? I shouldn't even be using the fresh shotgun rain. I should keep these good quality shotguns instead i did bring some lower quality ones so it might uh might take a little bit longer but to hell with it man you know this way we can get some use out of all these things because normally i wouldn't even bring this many shotguns anywhere but i mean if we're trying to take them out using shotguns anyway might as well use some of the lower quality ones you know a little bit of two birds one stone try to get some uh, usage out of these before they go i actually organized my inventory a little bit so it was in like ascending order where like all the way at the end was the lowest quality ones is my champagne stopped working i ain't doing 10 i'm i'm not seeing any 11 damage here i'm, I'm not ow that dude's got a gun okay it's gonna be very annoying to deal with it's okay i have a shotgun yeah shotgun right oh god he's got some good armor yeah, where's my bonus damage? Have I shot too many bullets? Has the bonus damage broken? Well, he's dead. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look like we're doing bonus. There we go. All right, we're just having like a bonus damage drop or something. Maybe that was to counter the fact that we had the best bonus damage in the world to begin with. But I'd say six full quality shotguns. You're golden. Maybe bring a seventh just in case. And you guys can see I barely even had to use like meds or anything. Uh, you probably don't want to run all the way around the map because then you might trigger some other dudes running after you. You probably want to deal with the other dudes later when the big one's dead and you don't have to worry about them. This will also let us see what loot this area has because we haven't really, uh, whatchamacall, second shotgun rain. Oh, no. Hey, buddy. You want some shotgun rain? Boom, shotgun rain. You want some more? Boom, shotgun rain. Even more? Boom, shotgun rain. That never gets sold. But yeah, uh, there should be some loot areas here we'll be able to check out. I just, uh, I don't want to check them out with this guy following me because then we're going to have multiple targets to attack and that's just going to be a pain in the butt. But let me know what you guys think of this tactic for taking out the big one because this is by far the easiest I've ever taken out the big one. To be fair, this is going to be the second time I've ever taken them out, but... I mean, I'm happy I did it now because this would have taken like probably a couple more full quality shotguns to even be able to take him out. And it would have been a lot more annoying, a lot more healing required because he could easily catch up to us if he was going full speed. And that means he could hit us. And right now we don't really have to worry about getting hit. We just worry about shooting him in the face. I know, right? Isn't that so, such an easy life? You just have to worry about shooting things in the face. They don't even fight back. He, I mean, he's trying to fight back. It's kind of adorable, TBH, but you can't do nothing. That's for sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this tactic. And if you guys yourselves might be trying to do it in the comment section down below. Excited to hear what you guys got to say about some of the tactics we are employing here. And uh, I mean, you can do this with any gun that does 20 or more damage. Uh, the pistols and that's really it. I wouldn't recommend doing this with the SVN. Like, I mean, I guess you could. Not the SVN, the VSS. Why do I always call it SVN? Freaking freaking computer science in college, man. It's caught up to me. If you guys know computer science, you, you might know why I'm saying SVN. Or you might know what I mean when I say SVN. But, uh, God, he makes some disgusting noises. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys might be doing this yourselves. I'm excited here. And maybe if there's even cooler, like, other weapons you might recommend. Like, the pistol. It would suck, though, because the pistol's only going to do one damage to him and three damage where it's a critical from the champagne. So, uh, yeah, but with the big one about to finish he's about to be done so and we've actually gone totally you know why don't we try to finish him with a pistol eat some pistol drizzle boy there you go that's why i brought a pistol too because as you guys can see range on it's a little bit better you can get more shots off you do one damage with a chance at three damage and you will be able to finish 
the big one. Da -da 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 -da! Thank you for another Bunker Zulu card that brings our total up to two and the dead. The big one total up to two. See, I wish he could drop a trophy. Like they added in the blind one. They added in a blind one trophy. Kefir, please, if you watch video, make trophy. Okay, because that'd be pretty awesome. Like, it, it definitely, I, I just want to be able to make a cooler trophy room and hanging up, like, more heads of bosses would be pretty cool. But there you guys have it, really. You guys can see, I used up a couple of band-aids. All of these first aid kits I brought that we would have definitely had to blow through before, thanks to the slowdown, is not at all a problem. It's 100%, like, we're, we're totally fine. And I'm just going to equip this thing, try to take out the rest of them, see what we can loot out of everyone else, and... Just kind of make our way through and, and enjoy. But definitely let me know in the comment section. Like I was saying, and ooh, that is actually some not too shabby swan armor. In the comment section, what you guys think of this tactic, your guys' own variations of the tactic, maybe, and just overall, thank you for the saw blade mazes. Any stuff like that, a reminder that comments will be a third of the way into the weekly $25. At Zoo slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and boom shakalaka. You will be, oh god, spit on between two spitters. Now you will be entered in on this video. There's actually gonna be two winners chosen this week. You guys can enter on every last day on Earth video. Still got a couple more days, so the notification bell might be a nifty thing to hit to make sure you don't miss any videos, know when they come out right away. And uh, make sure you're keeping on the up and up with all the news, because you know I got a feeling there's gonna be some big stuff coming soon. I really hope that there is, because if there isn't, I will become a sad panda. Oh, yeah! And there you go. I'm going to let these dudes, like, sumo wrestle each other. That's the good thing about having these guys around, you know? They just kind of they kind of hurt each other. They do the work for you. I should have let that guy live, though, because he was about to... But see, when it's down to one, it's sad, because he can't sumo wrestle himself. He doesn't damage himself, although I don't... He's hitting the ground pretty hard on his butt. I feel like this is unrealistic, and he should definitely be doing damage to himself. Kefir, what it not? I kid. I kid. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, my God. Hold on. We got more abominations to deal with and more spitters. I want the spitter to go first. Oh, my goodness. Even more of you. Even more of you. Why does this not surprise me? I got more of you to deal with. I just want to finish talking about... Uh, I'll take the damage just so I can take you out a little quicker. There we... Ooh, thumb drive. Those things aren't useful yet, but uh, as we've seen with the past couple updates, the most random of items might suddenly become useful. Like, uh... Wrenches. Those things weren't useful until we needed them for rent or for generators to unlock the new area. And it's like, oh well, would you look at that? And it's like, yes, sir. Would you look at that? But anyways, uh, yeah, you guys can't turn on all the videos. When Saturday rolls around, I'll go ahead and pick two random Last Day on Earth videos because we're doing a double giveaway yet again to celebrate the holiday season and kind of a new year. I would say as well, since the new year is here. Happy 2018 again. If this is the first 2018 video of mine you are watching. Ooh, a little bit more rope. But yeah, then when Saturday rolls around, I'll pick two random videos, two random comments, and from if those two random comments fulfill everything, boom shakalaka, we got a pair of winners on our hands. And if they don't, well, I'll just keep on picking some comments until indeedly do. It is the Vina that we seek. Ooh, a little bit of venison there. And then I'll message you guys on Saturday, announce you on Saturday, all that jazz, and make sure that you get your hands on the proper whether that be Android or iOS, type a $25 gift card. And with that entire spiel taken way too long, ow, and with us getting spit on by a stupid toxic spitter and defying physics, and we literally hit him to the left, but his everything flew to the right. Don't know how it happens, but it happens. Uh, let's just continue looting the rest of this forest. Uh, there's a lot of trees here, I guess. So if you guys want to come here with a hatchet, maybe you can, uh, I don't know, maybe harvest some stuff. I don't really know. I don't think you're going to be coming here to collect wood. And if you are, probably want to uh, reweigh your priorities. There we go. Come on. Are we more spits? No? Oh, now you want to spit. Oh, you are going to make me smell. I have a date later today. Oh, my God. Well, actually, maybe the date will come running towards me because that's what happens when you smell. Everyone starts running towards you. They don't run away. They're like, oh, man, Star smells awful today. Let's go smell him even closer. God, I can't get enough of that just patented Star Snipe scent. You know, I should bottle up this scent and I should sell it. I should put it onto store shelves. You know why? I mean, look, I got people running from off the map to come and sniff me up close. That's how amazing this smell is realistically you think it smells bad oh no it's actually an amazing smell an irresistible smell 
some might even say, because uh, we got even not even the dead can resist this smell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll work on bottling up. I'll try to sell it on the merch store. Uh, speaking of that, due to popular demand to start out 2018, an awesome new year, uh, the merch store, a little bit of a tease here. I don't want to say too much, but... Uh, the long suggested and long wanted shirt if you guys remember the shotgun rain shirt so that everyone freaking loved when we released it that was the first type of merch we dropped well it's been i've been getting comments to bring it back because it was only available for the month of october well guess what to kick off 2018 the shirt is making a return i don't know if it's on the store yet but it should be on there pretty soon so make sure to keep an eye up here link will be in the description or link or uh, pin comment or something one of the two and it looks like we've cleared out this zone and there's not really anything super amazing kind of kind of lackluster they really should put like better loot here i don't know i'm, I'm definitely underwhelmed although we haven't opened this yet maybe we'll find a chopper gas tank i doubt it but uh yeah that shirt's gonna be coming back very soon so if some of you guys were looking to cop that pretty awesome shirt definitely the most popular one i've had by far uh, that you guys have enjoyed uh there's usually monthly new shirts up and there's also the just uh other kind of default or there's a couple of different shirts too but shotgun range shirt's coming back moral of the story don't want to talk about that for too long because it's not part of the video just wanted to mention it but anytime i mention anything my train of thought just gets derailed it turns into an awful train accident and uh, long story short people die I, I hope you were not one of those people and if you are i apologize um that's all i got i can only apologize uh we're gonna go over this chopper vet too because why the hell not we do have the necessary things we also got four empty slots in our chopper and as you know right now the big thing the final thing that we have to find because with the completion of the acid bath we have almost everything in the game except the one the only the scuba the mask that's right we're still on the hunt for that thing we get we should we get a chance like pretty much every day at the chopper event so i'm going to be trying to capitalize on that chance as much as possible and uh hopefully it's a good chopper event see this is a good chopper event all right the other chopper event where there's like the betrayal and stuff going on that was a little bit different all right that one is good for getting like weapons because you're always guaranteed like a shotgun there and a couple of other goodies but this one uh we only have shotguns don't we you know what i think i should have some pistols left over from some of the new year's boxes we open or kalashnikov kalashnikov is good too <laughs> nah well eh yeah you know what let's go with, let's go with the ak we haven't had fun with an ak in a while i think we deserve to have some Kalashnikov type of fun, especially when we smell this good. Just, oh, absolutely marvelous smell. I know. But yeah, these types of events are the best because you can only get the scuba mask, from my knowledge, from the choppers. So we want the choppers. Also, this guy with the sledgehammer, he doesn't care that you shoot him. He, uh, he really enjoys the pain. As, as weird as that sounds, he does enjoy it. Now, I'm going to try to shoot the dude. I can see you. Yeah, I can see you too. Uh, does that guy have a pistol? I don't know. I think they both might have pistols. Uh, looks like he has a pistol. So I'm going to want to kill this guy first because he's going to die quicker. And I want to be as far away from the other dude as possible before gunfire open. Oh my god. Oh no, he noticed. He's finally like, hey, wait a minute. You killed both of my friends. That's not them just playing dead. And I'm like, ah, shucks. Spoiled again. And I would have gotten away with the two if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Yeah, it's all right. I might be straight out of Scooby-Doo. I do get that a lot. A lot of people, when they see me in real life, especially my girlfriend, at least with the hair I used to have, man, freaking looked like Shaggy, according to her. So uh, that's that's good to know. Ooh, red tickets. Uh, the weapons we got, kind of lackluster, not going to lie. These pants, might, uh, might ditch these pants. Don't know how much we really need pants. And you know what? Before I get to ditching anything, and we don't have anything else to loot, really. Uh, what I was going to do is put the valuables away, the things that we definitely are not going to ditch, all over into here. Two shotguns and 40 medkits. Yeah, get out of here, dear. I don't know what it is. Uh, sometime long ago, well, not long ago, but a little while ago, they just started having bajillions of deer here. It became a deer mating ground, man. It's, it's weird stuff. I don't know. I, I haven't caught a mating yet, but I really hope that that never happens, because that might scar me and you for life. All right, so it's not looking like we're getting much good stuff there. All right, let's get to grabbing. 
All right, I forget we can't double click for whatever reason, but let's get to grabbing. Uh, what else do we got to get here? We got to get some iron. I don't need those pants. They're about to break. And the saw blade mace, as nice as a saw blade mace is with that low durability, we got a full durability in one here. You've been good to me, saw blade mace. I appreciate it, but I don't need you anymore. So live out your days in the wild doing whatever saw blade maces do in the wild. I don't know. Also... These things are kind of higher quality than what we used to have, so that's nice. But I don't know if I really want to ditch anything for them. Like, if they were full quality, don't get me wrong, I'd probably ditch the weapon part and stuff, and maybe even the band-aids, but actually, we can just put the band-aids away. Should probably use my brain. Gotta exercise that thing every once in a while. I might be out winter break, but I don't want my brain to go rotten, you know? Gotta, gotta keep that thing sharp. Keep it keen. That type of stuff. But, yeah, I, I think I'll just grab the pistol from him. And his pistol. Eh. Eh. I mean, eh. Nah, I'll just keep what I got. I know, could be better. Could be worse, but it's not like it's anything. If it's debatable, it's all right. I I understand, you know, I might get a little bit more usage out of that pistol, but to hell with it. I like stockpiling things. I got plenty of pistols. I have like a hundred weapon parts, but still, you never know. Maybe one day, next update, all of a sudden, you need a hundred weapon parts to craft some sort of super uber amazing weapon. Well, guess what? I'm gonna be prepared for that, boy. Uh, I'm also gonna be prepared to hopefully make my way back home. Making my way out of town. Uh, we do have the Bunker Alpha. It's open as well, so I'll make sure to cop a little bit of a peek at the code. And we're gonna make sure to go through Bunker as well, because that is where another super valuable thing is. That is where floppy disks are. And floppy disks are the only method, to my knowledge, where we can acquire something beloved something amazing you guys know what i'm talking about you might know what i'm talking about the infected box aka the reason we built the acid bath and the reason we got some super good stuff out of said acid bath that reminds me i wonder if the acid bath has despawned yet or like the chest that was in there does it stay like how how does this work uh nah it's it's still in there i'm guessing Maybe until we fully empty it out. Yo, what the? Wasn't that crazy? I left five copper here. That's pretty much like five steel. Holy hell, I was a madman. What is wrong with me? God, that thing's a beauty, though. Uh, I'm going to put this copper where it belongs, a.k.a. making me some of this stuff right here. Uh, do I have more coal to get that thing cooking? I would appreciate that a ton. Uh, we have 20 coal there and some wild turkeys. I will just take that coal. Sorry, coal, but the world needs you. To, to make a, me I, steel. Lots of steel. As you can see, I have a lot of steel too. I just don't want to take it out because inventory room, a little bit slacking. A little bit slacking. But uh, speaking of inventory room, I'm going to go ahead and make an organized mess out of this unorganized mess. And yeah, even when I organize, it's still a mess. All right. Listen, just talk to my mother. All right. She can tell you the same thing. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And maybe we'll uh, sing in the shower to celebrate having a good inventory. I, I don't know, dude. What? What do people usually celebrate with? Like champagne? It's out of this world. I celebrate with showers. La, 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 celebratory shower. And after more effort than I expected to put into organizing, I, I know that actually took me a couple more minutes than I expected. I, I really, I guess today I just really cared about my organizing. But uh, we do have one last thing to put away and that is the bunker Zulu card. And you know where that's going. That's going in the super valuable chest. The chest that just makes me, makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> we got the two Bunker Zulus there, an extra chopper gas tank. We got our delicious white paint stored. We got some electronic circuits. Some of the best weapons that can be found in Last Day on Earth. These are just the fully modded ones. We of course have things like fully modded AKs and other things available as well. But uh, for the time being, we will leave those there. We're only going to bring a couple of weapons with us as we go to the bunker. And we are going to be bringing some green tickets with us as well. Literally exactly half because it only takes 20 green to pop that thing open. And we're not really going to actively be going after more tickets. Like if we get some like we did here, I am just going to... I don't know. No, don't quit the game. What's wrong with you, boy? Don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't even don't even say things like that. I hate that. There's a back button on my phone, and it's kind of by the X. You see the X in the upper right-hand corner? The back button's kind of close to that. So, uh, yeah, that leads to some issues sometimes. Hopefully, 
not too many but you know what i'll i'll bring this stuff with me i'm, I'm just feeling that lucky and we do also have an ak with us so it's not like we're that much in danger of anything or anything like that but let's head on over now we do still have the stuff by the way and the chopper but i say we leave that there that's the emergency kit although if my chopper ever gets broken into we're gonna have problems that reminds me when the raider update comes i actually wonder if the chopper will be like safe storage or if they might even like if the enemies will even be able to break into your stuff Ooh, speaking of that i know i've been talking about the raider update a lot i feel like the raider update might also be when we get our first taste i mean we'll be talking about this probably a little bit more in tomorrow's video i got a good idea for tomorrow's video that i think you change that i think you guys will enjoy uh but in the meantime i don't know why the hell i clicked on this but i clicked on it for some reason i clicked on it because i might have to click on the thing next to it because honestly uh a while ago right there were leaks or something and we actually saw some explosions i'll talk about this more in depth but long story short another thing that i really think will happen in 1.7 and i'll talk about more why i think about it is uh this puppy right here it's gonna somehow be craftable even maybe findable maybe it'll be like a super rare loot maybe you can find it in a floppy disk something but i will tell you guys why i think that's coming in 1.7 because i mean I, I think a lot of you guys are in agreement with me that 1.7 is gonna be the raider update there's just been so many things kind of like hinting towards it and it's like hmm all right then also now's the time where i totally forgot to go and get the radio code for my own radio so excuse me while i google what the code is for today yeah uh, professional Woo! all right so by the looks of it unless i am totally crazy which i might be five four nine two seven confirm confirmed now start christen start crossing and start doing everything in your power to get me some good, I don't know, knock on wood, lick a horseshoe, whatever the hell considered lucky in this day and age. Or maybe you're watching this 20 years down the line and there's completely different lucky standards. Well, whatever the hell is considered lucky in 20 years, start doing it because your luck will time travel backwards and give me great luck when I open this green crate. What am I hoping for when I open this up? Well, 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 well. I am hoping for one thing and one thing only because the only thing I can really get valuable Jesus goodbye to your legs there, dude uh, The one thing that we can really hope for is an engine part. Maybe a rifle or something, but I like engine parts And I don't get engine parts. Well, that's okay. We got some medical supplies, too We got a single band-aid. Uh, thank you very much for the singular Band-aid there, man. I, I I appreciate it. And I guess we can go clear out this dude for future notice and woo! Oh, I hit his head downwards that time or something. And of course, we got the specialist who sometimes appears as red on the mini-map and sketches the hell out of me. Next episode or sometime we should begin the floppy disk. And hopefully we'll be getting more infected boxes now, because infected boxes have way better loot than floppy disks do by themselves. And since we have the acid bath, uh, we have the ability to open up those infected boxes, which is absolutely amazing but with that i think it's a good point for us to actually go ahead and end the video off on because i need to go to the bathroom so i hope you guys enjoyed the video best of luck joining the chopper squadron through opening up these red crates because i know the chopper squadron oh god i aggroed him is a struggle to join i know that struggle all right i've i've been experiencing that struggle with the scuba mask never with the gas tanks i got lucky i got the gas tank literally right away uh in the third floor or back when the third floor was the second floor and they added that floor in for the first time yeah I got hella lucky and just got a gas tank like right away. Luckiest thing ever, and I didn't even react properly. That's just the classic meme. I didn't, I didn't realize how amazing it was. But uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap up me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Cameron here, you guys got to say about taking out the big one using some Christmas items. And, uh, yeah, just overall, best of luck and having a fan-freaking-tastic day. And uh, have a fan-freaking-tastic day. Talk to you in the next one. Let me wait for me to wave. See ya.